best traditions of Mardi Gras is king cake. Today I'm going to show you a simple and cost efficient way to make your very own king cake at home. First you want to start out with two rolls of cinnamon roll dough. You're going to knead both cans of cinnamon rolls into a large ball. Before you get the dough out and get it ready, you need to preheat your oven to 350. And I laid some full in my pan and sprayed my pan with Pam to make cleanup really easy. All I have to do is just throw away the full. Okay, once you get your cinnamon roll dough into a, a large ball, you just half the dough. You take the first section of dough and you use your rolling pin to, to roll it out. This recipe that I'm going to make today is probably enough king cake for a family, so if you wanted to take it to your Super Bowl party or a Mardi Gras celebration, you would need to double or triple the recipe. I'm just going to use two cans of cinnamon rolls. Okay, once you get your first half of dough rolled out, doesn't matter what shape, go ahead and put it on the pan that you're going to bake it in. Again, I sprayed this with Pam and put some foil down, so all I'll have to do is throw away the foil. I won't have to worry about washing the pan. Okay, and then I bought some cream cheese icing, just the already made kind. I'm going to spread that on this bottom layer of dough. If you wanted to make your own icing, you could use cream cheese and sugar and milk and mix it up, but this is just a quick and easy way. I'm going to put a lot of icing on mine. Okay, once you get that spread evenly, you take your second half of dough. You do the same thing, roll it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, once you get that dough rolled out, lay it right on top of your icing and your First half of dough. I'm going to smooth it down a little bit and then I'm going to roll it. It's going to look something like this. And then you're going to stretch it out and try and shape it into a circle or an oval. Make sure that your ends meet. And traditionally in king cake, there is a little baby hidden somewhere in the dough. And whoever gets the piece with the baby in it should have good luck for the next year. And they're also responsible for bringing the king cake to next year's Mardi Gras party. And a little hint, usually the baby is hidden where the two ends of the dough meet. Okay, so now you have your king cake into a circle. Just gonna go ahead and put that on the pan. Put it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. And I've got one that's already been cooking. It's been in there 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and show you how to decorate it. Just came out of the oven, super hot. So I'm just gonna take the icing that actually came with the cinnamon rolls and I'm going to squeeze it on top of my king cake. This is the shortcut method. It's not homemade, but 
but it's just as yummy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the other pack of cinnamon roll icing on top. So basically it's just a big cinnamon roll with a baby hid inside. I'm going to put extra icing on top of mine. Okay, and it wouldn't be king cake without the purple, green, and yellow sprinkles. So I'm going to put my green sprinkle, sprinkles on. The green represents faith. Okay, and the purple represents... Purple represents justice. This is great. It's easy to make for kids, but if you're making it for small children, I would probably leave the baby out because that could be a choking hazard. Okay, then I'm going to put my gold on. My gold represents power. And last but not least, I want to decorate with some Mardi Gras beads. Simple, easy king cake for your Super Bowl or your Mardi Gras celebration.